Hey guys, Andy LaViolet here with PremiumBeat.com. Today we're talking about how to edit a series of audio clips in perhaps a large batch um, when the audio is recorded internally to a camera instead of to an external device. Let me show you a little bit about how we do that. You'll notice here that I have a session created with uh, footage that I've already imported from a Canon C300 Mark I. Um, and you'll see here the list of all of my original video files. Of course, in a normal situation, there could be several of these. There could be 20, 30, 50, you know, it depends on your session. But for now, I just have a few clips created just for example. So what I do is I open my footage folder. I'm going to select all of the clips in this folder and drag them down into the timeline. At this point, you want to lasso all of the files, right click, and go ahead and unlink the files from their video. Next, you'll select the audio files themselves, and we will use our edit clip in Adobe Audition command. All of the files are now open in Adobe Audition, and I can see the list of them in the upper left hand corner of my project window. If I double click on one, it opens that particular file. So we'll go through and edit each file. So now that I've completed the editing for this particular audio file, here's where the process is different. Instead of just hitting save, it's important to hit save as, so I can save this edit in a new location. I'll hit shift command S, so that it brings up the save as window. It's important now that I browse to where I would like to save these files. So what I'll do is I'll browse to my new location and I've created a folder called edited audio. This is where I want to save all of the new versions of my edited audio clips. So I'm going to hit save and now I can hit OK. So now I've created an exact replica of the audio clip recorded in camera, except it's saved in a new location. So I repeat the process for each file. So now that I've completed all of my audio edits, I can close Adobe Audition and return to Adobe Premiere. However, you'll notice that the audio edits that we've just done have not been updated in the project. Um, as you can see here, there's still one channel and they're still a little bit quiet. I'm not sure if this is a bug or if this is the way that the program is intended to be used, but regardless, it doesn't help us. So we need to replace that with the audio that we've just created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these audio files selected, the audio extracted files, and I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to say make offline. I'm going to hit OK because I want the media files to remain on the disk. I don't want the files to be deleted. I hit OK and I can see now here that because they're all red, it does mean that the files are indeed offline and unlinked to the original files. So I right click and I'm going to say link media. So now what I want to do is I want to hit the locate button at the lower right of the pop up window. And I need to browse to my audio folder called edited audio. I'll select that folder and I can see the file name to the right. If I click on the file name, I can see that this is different from the original path. So we hit OK. And now all of the files in this list have automatically been updated because they were all in the same folder and stayed with the original names that was created in Adobe Premiere. You'll notice now that I do indeed have um, audio with two channels and the volume has been increased. I hope this was helpful for you all today. Um, please stay tuned to premiumbeat.com for more updates. I'm Andy LaViolette. Thanks.